For what purpose? Nobody noticed anything unusual when Congressman Jake Auchincloss came to the floor of the House of Representatives. The gentleman is recognized for one minute. And read a one-minute speech urging the U.S. and Israel to create a joint center studying artificial intelligence. This is a critical step forward in an era where AI and its implications are taking center stage. Everyone thought it was just a routine speech. What nobody but Auchincloss and his staff knew, until he announced it later, is that his speech was written, all 128 words, by a computer computer using the same technology he was talking about. I wanted to draw attention to this technology on the floor of Congress so that policymakers can start engaging in this debate now. Launched to the public less than two months ago by a company called OpenAI, ChatGPT, which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, does more than traditional search engines like Google. It can create original custom text in whatever style requested. And because the algorithm can scrape the internet for my previous statements, it can write, you know, sort of in my voice. Auchincloss says he sees potential for this technology, for example, as a tutor for students or for better customer service. But he says rules need to be written about what's off limits for the chat bots and who pulls their strings. Because if it's driven by Microsoft and Google and Facebook, it's not going to be representative of the best interests of all Americans. All right, so let's put this, this thing to the test. Let's come up with a text that I'm sure no human being has ever written. Let's write a love sonnet from a Boston Red Sox fan to the New York Yankees. Oh, Yankees, though our teams may fight and battles on the field ignite, my love for thee doth burn so bright a flame that never will alight. Thy pinstripes a sight to behold, and on and on. You get the picture.